Hey you, if you clicked this video means I can understand. Now you want to know how to create and manage the coding contest in HackerRank. With step by step actions, I can teach you each and everything you should know in the HackerRank. First up, you just type the text HackerRank in Google search bar. Then click this first URL. Now you can see the home page of HackerRank. For participating or creating the contest, first you have to have the HackerRank account. If you don't have, first create it. And if you already have that, then you just log in with that account. For me, I have developer account. So let me log in with that. Now you enter into the main page of HackerRank. Here you can see the lot of contests, mock interviews, and etc. Now you just click this text called Compete. Now over here you can see these two buttons. Among those, you just click Create Contest button for creating the contest. Now you enter into the another page which is responsible for creating the contest. Here you have to give your basic contest details such as name of the contest I gave as contest demo. Then starting and ending time of contest. If you don't want to end the contest means then you just choose this contest as no end time. Otherwise just put the ending time. After that select the type of organization and the organization name also. After filling this basic contest informations click get started button now we are at the next page here we have to ensure bunch of settings for the contest once again check all the informations about contest whether it is correct or not over here you can see the url that also you can modify based on your need after the modification of url just click update then the URL will be changed. Then check the starting and ending time of the contest, organization type and organization name. Then we just coming to the landing page customization section. Here you can see the background image option. It's for setting the background image for the landing page. If you chose any image means then it's going to take the place on this rectangle box at the landing page of the contest. The next image option is used when you share this contest link to someone else then whatever you type on the tagline it's going to take the place on this rectangle box if you fill it the following details means then at the landing page it will be look like this the description section prices rules and the scoring sections first you should have to fill these sections then only you can view those details at the landing page once you complete this page then click save changes button after that go for advanced settings in this section first up there is a leaderboard option over here if you select the default hacker rank leaderboard then it's going to look like this that is the rank of the participant their id score and when they completed it and finally the country flag in case if you select the acm leaderboard means then it will be look like this it is similar to the previous leaderboard but with extra features like here you can find the top performers for each questions then for the following options if you need those then choose it otherwise skip it once you completed this page then you just click save changes button go to the next options in moderators option you can employ any moderators you want by adding moderators you are giving the permission to them to create modifications in this contest for now i don't need anyone so i just remove this person now we can move on to the notifications option this option is used for sending the notifications to the participants during the contest or before and after the contest this is very useful when you are trying to communicate with the participants over here you can give the subject of the content and at the message box you can fill the content if you want to send this message immediately then click the send message button that's it for notification option now we can move on to the sign up option in this option you can find how many participants are sign up for your contest you can also watch their username and when they signed up finally you can also find whether they are logging to the contest or not during the contest this page will filled with these informations now this is time to know about statistics option this is slightly similar to the sign ups option but additionally you can find how many participants are submitted their code not only that but you can also see their submitted code for that 
First you have to click this view all contest submissions button. During the contest after you clicking this button here you can see list of participants name and some other details as well. Over there when you click the text view then you can watch two things. The first thing is how many test cases they passed and the second thing is how they written the code. Okay these are all about the statistics option and of course now you should have to know about challenges option. Initially I skipped that because of the huge process. Now we can discuss about that. After clicking the text challenges over there you can see the add challenge button. When you click that button it asks for name and maximum score. If you want to set your own questions then you should have to create your own challenges. For that go to the manage contest page there you can find manage challenges section. Then you just click create challenge button. Then it asks for challenge name, description, problem statement and etc. For me instead of giving those informations manually I just go and create a new tab then type chatgpt.com type this command if you need the command I already given that in the description you just take it after pressing enter it starts to manufacture those informations all right chatgpt done its work now our job is just copy this and paste it on challenge creation section let me speed up because we just gonna do the copy pasting process here it provides two possibilities such as bullet pointings or numbering based on your need you can choose any one okay you just continue with the copy pasting process I forgot to say this feature on this that is you can also take a preview on that if you need it you can use it otherwise continue with copy pasting process here you just give any random tags or something related to the question after completing some crucial steps finally we created needed things for a challenge for next you just click save changes button now we successfully created the challenge but it also provides some extra features. The first feature is moderators. As I said before if you need it then you can add otherwise skip it. Before going to the any other options first you have to save the current page. So let's save it. Now there is a test cases option. This is very very important part in this tutorial. Here if you click add test cases button then it asks for around 4 to 5 things. The first thing is tags. Here you can type the difficulty of the question. I just type medium. Based on your selection of questions, you can give hard and simple. For filling input and output section, we have ChatGPT. Just go there, copy paste that. And remember that remove the extra spaces because it is case sensitive. Then there is a radio button for sample and the additional. When you choose for a sample, then you are making the test cases are visible to the participants and this strength text field is used for representing the score lastly click the save button if you done the needed things for adding test cases here i want to mention one thing like you can also create more number of test cases by doing similar process save this page and move on to the code stubs option this option is used for showing the default code in the text editor as usual if you don't need just keep it for this moment jump to the language option here you can select what kind of language the participant for me i just need python and java so let me choose it after selection of needed languages you just click save changes button i think remaining things are optional so if you need it you can use it otherwise you definitely know what i'm gonna say all right somehow we created the challenges for finding them go to the manage challenges section then you can find your created questions remember that we only created the question till now we didn't add it so go to the manage contest section then find your contest just click it again go to the challenges option click the add challenge button choose your created question 
for that type initial two or three characters then it will recommend just choose it then give the maximum score click the add challenge button yeah we added the challenge and don't forget to click that save changes button finally we finished each and everything which is needed for the contest now you can share this link to the participants when they click this link then they will enter into this landing page it shows 10 hours to start but i already have one contest so let me give the demo to participate in this contest just click sign up button then it take us to the login page for me i choose continue with google all right here are the questions for the level 1 contest the first page contains 10 questions and the next one contains 5 questions if you want to see the leaderboard click this text then you can see the leaderboard over here now i'm going to solve one question so you just watch how it is working for every questions i given the problem statement buggy code input format constraints output format and the sample input and output for the test cases for debugging the given code copy the buggy code and paste on the editor to get a pass mark on the test cases i should have to call the function so i initialize the variable and call the function with the parameter as a then solve the bugs in the code after that we can run the code if the test cases are passed then click the submit code button for submitting your code you know that like i am the person who created those questions so i have the answers too these are the answers that's it yeah i'm always here to hear your thoughts and comments and we will meet at my next upcoming learnings video guys